Uh, in this demo, I'm going to show you how to create a, uh, a Windows-based application and then add a view controller and the interface file to it. So let's open up Xcode and create a new project. Now, in the past, we've always done uh, view-based applications. That gives us a uh, gives us a view controller and an interface file. Uh, it comes with those two things. But in this example, I'm going to show you how to start with a Windows-based application and then build a view-based application. And the question is, why would you want to do that? Well, mainly this is so you understand how uh, the view-based application works or, or what are the components and how is it, is it built. Because at some point later on, you'll probably have to use Windows-based applications uh, as, a, as a starting point because it's, it's a little more basic. Uh, so let's choose a Windows-based application. And I'm going to call mine Windows based. All right. Okay. Now, the first thing you'll notice if you look at your classes and your resource file, you'll notice that a Windows based app delegate, uh, it, it, it only comes with two files. It doesn't have a view controller, just the Windows based app delegate. And in the resource file, it only has a main window interface file. Uh, the main window that that comes in view based applications also but that's what gets that is what gets loaded in first uh, if you look at the p list here I just want you to note like why does the windows main window get loaded in it's because in your in your nib file or in your p list file they uh, it, te it tells the main nib file uh, please load main window this can actually be changed uh, but that that's what's pointing to this main window file to tell it like hey uh, I want to start with this as my base interface file uh, okay so we're gonna add an we're gonna add a uh, view controller to do that I want to click on classes right click add new file and we're gonna add a UI view controller subclass with a interface file click next I'm going to call this my view controller. And that created three files for us. Now we have a view controller H and M and an XIB file. Okay, so now we need to go to the uh, Windows based app delegate H file. And just delete some comments. Give yourself room. Okay. So the first thing, let's add a class. And we're going to add the My View Controller class that we just created. Uh, then we want to add an outlet for it. Uh, it's going to be My View Controller. That's the class, and we're going to call it View Controller. Great. Now we want to add a property. The set aside memory for this object, non-atomic, retain, IB outlet. And this is going to be can copy this and put it right down there okay uh, so now we have this set up now you need to go to your dot m file the app delegate dot m and we need to synthesize that view controller make sure you spell it right controller now down here, this is what loads, this says uh, the app delegate knows to load the my window XIB file in, but if you see self window make key invisible, that's making the window, which is like a view, visible. But we want to add our view controller to the window. So we say window, add sub view, and view controller, but now you might not understand this yet, but the view controller is not a view it has a view associated with it. So we don't want to add the view controller, we want to add the view controller's view. Okay, and the last thing we need to do before our code is set up is we have to import, we have to import the myViewController.h. So it, if it doesn't have this, it doesn't know what, what the, uh, that class is, okay? Uh, then, really quickly, I just want to set up, let's go into my view controller XIB file. Uh, double click on that, 
and I just want to change the background and add a button. So this is my view controller. This is the interface file that we created. Um, click on the view and then go to the the background color. Change the change the color and also add a button or something. I'm gonna add a button and I'm gonna write this. This UI view has been loaded. Oops. From my view controller. It doesn't make sense. That doesn't even fit on there. Okay. But now I'll save it. Exit interface builder. I just want to show you if we click build and run at this point, it's uh, it shouldn't do anything. I think it might even crash. Okay. Well, it's white. Notice how it's white because we haven't hooked up the view controller yet. So this is loading the uh, the window. What you're seeing now is the the window view from my window. But go ahead and we want to enter my window.xib and there's four steps we need to do before the we'll be able to load our new view into this file. So bring up interface builder. Okay, and here are the four steps. Oh, by the way, this is the window that, that is on the screen there. This gets loaded in, and this is the, uh, the base view for all your projects. Okay, but in the uh, inspector tab, I think it's the inspector, what is it called? The, yeah, I think it's the inspector tab. We have three, th four things. Uh, I'm going to click details mode. There's a, uh, a Windows-based app delegate. If we right-click on that, we'll see window, window, but view controller. That's the view controller we made. We need to link it up to a view controller. Uh, so the first step here is you need to get a view controller class. Uh, so you can uh, search view controller, and you want to drag the view controller class onto this uh, inspector palette. And this view controller class represents a class in Xcode. Uh, if we open that up, you'll see, hey, this is a view, and it has a gray box all the way around it. What that means is, is this is not actually a view, but a view can be loaded into it. So that's the first step. Drag the view controller onto this, this palette. Then the second step is once you've clicked on view controller, we have to go to the uh, attributes palette, click on the identity, and where it says class, Right now it's a UI view controller. We want to make it my view controller. Because that, and then you'll notice the name changes right here. That's the second step. Now in the, yo. Uh, now the third step is you click on this palette and we want to change the nib name to be view controller. So in this palette here, we change the nib name to view controller. Now what did that do? If you look at view controller now, it'll say view loaded from my view controller. And then if you were to double click on that, that would actually open up the interface file for my view controller. But so that's the third step. And the fourth final step is in Windows based app delegate. If you right click on that, we are we need to connect our view controller to that view controller class object. So let's drag it over there. Now that's linked up. So we did the four steps. They were uh, first you drag the UI view controller onto this inspector palette. Then when you're clicked on my view controller, you, uh, you set the class name. And then third, you set the nib name, which is the, the interface file that gets loaded in. Uh, and then finally, you have to right click on the Windows based app delegate and then set the view controller to be linked up to my view controller. Four steps. You have to get them all right. Now save and close and bring up Xcode. And what we should see is we should see our, our My View Controller loaded in. So it's yellow. Okay, so that works. So the window, now it's loading this the view into our, our window. And that's essentially what, what the... Uh, the UI view template file is. And at, now you can see why they have a template because it is a bit of work to get to this, this stage. Uh, but it's important that you, 
you have a, a little understanding of what, how it's set up and why it's set up that way. Uh, yep. Okay. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to switch between views. Um, we'll be starting from a view-based application and we'll switch back and forth between two views. And this will be the base for a lot of your projects. Okay.